Hey there, this is John Barton from JB Cases. So check this out. Um, we are going to do, uh, real quick, I want to show you something, uh, a little repair job, okay? I am not easy on my own equipment. Um, this is a beautiful case right here that my wife made for me. Several of you have seen this a couple times. But the other day, somehow, uh, in my van or somewhere, I got uh, a little tear right here. Or the, the fabric, you can see, kind of got got dinged up right there. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to go in and I am going to fix this. And I'm going to kind of show you guys the kind of thing that you can do with your own case to, uh, if that happens, um, if you're like me and you're not quite as careful with it as, uh, as you probably ought to be, um, you can go in and you can fix it. And you want to fix these things before they get worse. You know, you don't want it to get hung up on something and tear even further. Uh, that sort of thing, by the way, is not warrantied, okay? So I would not be able to go back to my wife and tell her I want a brand new case because I did that. She would tell me, buy another one. She'd make me mow the lawn extra or do, some, do something to pay for it. Um, and uh, But she would not be happy about making me a new case because I was careless and uh, and just threw my case in the back of the van and, and let it hit something and get messed up. So, there's a couple different things here, okay? Most of you are going to have like some sort of super glue there around the house. You can use super glue to do this, but what you do not want to do is you do not want to apply the super glue directly to the case using the bottle or the applicator that comes with it. Now this particular bottle right here if I can open it, this particular bottle right here has a, has a brush on it, if I can get it open, I haven't used it in a while, so I don't know what it's going to, I don't know what's going to happen. So this has a, this is like a super glue gel and it has a brush. Now the brush is a cool idea, but the problem is, is you can't be as precise as you want to be. So what I do is I always take a little piece of cardboard or something like that or a plate or something and I will put the glue on the plate and then I will take a needle or something small like a toothpick and I will then get a little bit of glue just a very little bit on there and kind of dab it off so you've got just a little bit and you put a little bit at a time in the tear right here so that's one way that you can do it now another type of glue that you can do you can use you can go get something like this, which is like, it's called Fabric Mender and stuff like that. Um, I honestly find that in a non-flexible situation, this is flexible glue. In a situation like this where it's actually tight on the body, I prefer to use the super glue because it bonds really well and it holds it tight. Uh, I don't really want this to be flexible. So... Um, this is more of a type of glue where you would use it like on a fabric where any kind of point that's flexible. So if I was going to repair, for example, the, uh, the shoulder pad or the shoulder strap, then right there is where I would want it. I would want to use a flexible glue on there. And, uh, and that's what this stuff is right here. So I've never actually used this yet to do any kind of actual repair. But uh, let's see what it looks like here. I know it's flexible. It's not even coming out here, so I think I gotta. It's actually kind of like a. Uh... Here we go. Let's see. It's actually kind of like rubber. See that? So I suppose I have to. I have to take this out. That's weird. So it sounds like. Sounds like the whole thing is kind of rubberized inside, so I don't know if I trust this stuff, okay? So I would just go with the super glue, okay? If you get something like this, you probably want, want to use it right away. Um, it says on the bottle, you know, use within a year. I don't think that I've had it quite a year. But, uh, but anyway, always read the directions and use it. The other thing you can use is contact cement. You can do the same thing. Make sure you read the directions very carefully. Uh, and, and use it. So we're going to do the super glue real quick, okay? Uh, <clears throat> All right, the other thing that I would tell you is don't do this near your pool table like I'm doing it because I'm stupid, okay? 
you definitely don't want to get glue on your $500 fabric, okay? Um, on your pool table cloth. But I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway right here because I'm already standing here and I don't feel like walking into the workshop. So let's, uh, let's pull this in a little bit and uh, zoom in on the tear right here so you guys can see that. Let me see if I can, uh, let me see if I can make this zoom. Can't zoom in, the, uh, in, the, uh, in this mode. So I'll pull this up a little closer so you guys can really see that tear in there, okay? So what I'm gonna do first is I wanna identify, I just kinda wanna look at it and see how it's torn, you know, and get a feel for what I, what I need to do and where I need to go first on here. Okay, now there's a little fuzz on there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually burn that off later um, with one of my lighters, with a lighter, so let's start with this. Make sure we got all our tools in place here. Not sure where I put my needle. Here's my needle. Got the needle. Okay, I know what I want to do so I can see where it needs to be right there. So if need be, you can get a little uh, something else to kind of hold it back a little bit. But I can see how I want to do it. So if you'll notice, when I stick the needle in there, when I stick the needle in there, you can see you can see how it's torn right in there. Can you see that? Okay, you see that hole right there? So that's where I want to go in. I want to get that, I want to get it inside, get the glue in there, and just keep going a little bit along the edges there until I get it, until I get the glue in nice and nice and, neat and well in there. And I don't want to, I don't want to put too much glue. So I don't want to put too much glue in there. Um, I just want a little dab at a time. Little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. So since this is brushed on, I can't squeeze it out. I'm going to go ahead and just get a glob of it like this. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to brush it on here. See what I'm doing? I'm just brushing it on here so that I can then get enough of it where I can get my needle in there and roll it in there. Okay? So anything, you know, toothpick or something works really well. Needle works well. This is actually not my preferred needle either. This one's uh, this one is a, a round end on here, so you don't have a sharp needle. I, I like it to be a little bit more of a tip on there, but for this exercise, this will work just fine. Okay. So again, dab it off, and you'll see I'm going all the way in here, and I'm just going to kind of roll it a little bit in there, and I'm going to get it go down into the tear here a little bit, so I can. Do it again. Not too much. You don't want a big glob of it on there. All right, you're just trying to spread it out inside the cut right there. Now you can go on the other side of the cut here. Good. Now, just press down. I'm going to press it down. And hold it for a second. Always be careful with your needle also so you don't you don't accidentally lay it down on something or stick it to something. So, okay. So I've got that down pretty well right there. Uh, now what I'm going to do is you'll notice here when I pick this up. So when I pick this up, I want to show you guys how that came out real quick. I'm not done, but I want to show you. You see there's no visible hole there and now it looks like a scratch. Right? So now I'm going to take some more glue. Take some more glue on here. And I'm just going to lift it up ever so slightly and peel those fibers back and just put a little bit right inside that groove that's left what looks like a scratch right now. Now, I'm going to push these fibers over into that, into that little gouge right there that's left over. So 
Now I'm going to look at it again and I'm going to see is anything still coming up here? See now I just got a little fuzzy left so it looks like it just got scratched instead of torn. So you'll notice now when I hold it up now it looks like it just got scratched right there. You see there's a little fuzzy? I don't know if you guys can see that really well. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a lighter. Be right back and we're going to burn the rest of it off and it'll be good. I don't have one. I <laughs> Okay, no lighter, huh? Right. Do we have little scissors? Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Shop is disorganized, don't have a lighter. I know I know how I can stretch like a two minute video into twelve minutes here. Oh here we go. We got a little lighter. So what I'm gonna do is I, I got a pair of scissors anyway, okay? So if you've got some small scissors, you know, like fingernail clippers or whatever, you can come in and you can do this on here. You can just come in and just barely kind of get these fuzzies off of here. So, you know, these aren't the right scissors for this, but they're pretty good, you know. So the more you, we're just getting these little fuzzies off. Okay, now you'll notice here looks much better. See, it's all smooth right there, you know, so it's no bait, no gaping hole anymore. But you'll see there's still a little fuzzy there, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm very quickly, very, very quickly, I am going to burn this off. Okay, so very quickly, see the flame? Very quickly going to touch it, and then I'm going to smooth it. And that's it. All I want to do is just cauterize those edges a little bit and then be done. That's it. I don't want to make it black, okay? I don't want to make it black. That's it right there. So here, now I have turned that tear and if I want to, I can go in with a little bit of uh, a little bit of a marker or something, very very light, and color it if I felt like it. But I think I'm just going to leave it like that because the fact of it is, is that if it sits like this, it's not even noticeable. You know, if it sits like that right there, it's barely noticeable. So. I can go in there later if I want to, and uh, I can get a little blue marker and touch it up very lightly. What you want to do if you want to color it is you want to start with a with a lighter shade of blue, okay, like a sharpie or something like that, a fine line sharpie, and you want to just just dot it, 
dot, 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 very, very lightly. Then you can get a darker shade and a darker shade if you want, and you can color it in. You can use colored pencils, you can do anything like that, but start lighter than the, than the actual shade here and color it in and then it, uh, gradually get a little bit darker and a little bit darker until you've, uh, until you've blended it in to match it. Um, I actually didn't even have to do it the way I did with cutting off all that fi fiber. I could have actually glued that down and used the fiber to, uh, to even, even it out some more. But basically I've mended that tear at this point. So that's a way that you can do that with your own case uh, if you get some tears in it. And um, you can preserve your case and, and have, it, ha have it live an even longer life uh, if you have somehow managed to tear it. So thank you guys very much and uh, we'll talk to you later.